Thank you for joining us today on another installment of Frost and Sullivan's exciting podcast series, highlighting key disruptive technologies, growth opportunities, economic trends, new business models, industry convergence, emergent geographies, and much more. I'm Wallace Lau, industry principal with the Commercial Vehicle Research Team. We'll be talking about the global semi-trailer market that highlights innovative technologies, growth opportunities, and market sizing. Carson Sullivan's research on the global semi-trailer market provides a detailed analysis of market and technology trends, challenges, market sizing, and forecasts from 2017 to 2025. It identifies and analyzes key regulations and the evolution of semi-trailer design and technologies, including their future impact on the market. The industry is in the growth phase with regards to innovation. New emission regulations expected in 2021 in the United States are targeting efficiency improvements from semi-trailers. This is a new precedent for uh, for the semi-trailer market and is expected to drive further efficiency innovation into the semi-trailer design. Globally, only the United States has so far mandated efficiency improvements for semi-trailers. It remains to be seen whether other regions follow in the United States' footsteps. If other regions do not follow the United States, it will be a barrier to growth of semi-trailers from a technological perspective, causing it to remain a commoditized product. Another challenge is expected stagnation in semi-trailer sales in mature markets including North America and Western Europe over the short term due to the cyclical nature of the market, trade wars, and the potential for global slowdown. Technological advances and innovation in the semi in semi-trailer design and efficiency represent major opportunities for growth. There are four key pillars of technological advancement in semi-trailers, including aerodynamics, safety, connectivity, and electrification. Aerodynamics and safety systems, especially tire safety systems, are relatively low cost and can provide significant benefits in the short term. Connectivity and electrification are at a nascent stage and are expected to be important focus areas for semi-trailers over the long term. Lastly, semi-trailers are expected to have growth opportunities in brick countries due to the improving economic conditions and road infrastructure that is now better equipped to handle tractor-trailer combinations. Regions that overcome the efficiency challenges will set a strong precedent for their on-road freight transportation industry that prioritizes on lower fuel costs and reducing uh, their emission footprint. Furthermore, improvements in semi-trailer design and efficiency will enable carriers and fleets to reduce their total cost ownership and increase profitability. On that note, I hope you have enjoyed this session. Please join us for future podcasts and become a member of Frost & Sullivan's Leadership Council by emailing us at digital at frost.com. Thank you for your time.